Hello travellers and welcome to the tourist guide to Lordran. This time we'll be looking at Firelink Shrine, which is a safe haven for all visitors to Lordran. It's where some choose to rest and recuperate before continuing their travels, and it's where others choose to sit and wait for whatever eternity shall bring them. Firelink Shrine is the largest safe haven in all of Lordrum. The presence of a bonfire tended to by a firekeeper keeps many hostile enemies at bay, and the elegant structure of a chapel built on top of the final resting place of the great Lord Gwyn has meant many travellers often flock to this location on their travels, and as such it's become possibly the most notable sanctuary in all of Lordrum. The shrine also connects to many different areas, which is another contributing factor as to why many travellers seem to naturally gravitate towards this location. Firelink Shrine connects to the Undead Burg, the Undead Parish, the Catacombs and the Ruins of New London, and these locations then in turn will lead you to other places on your travels, so Firelink Shrine is often a good point for travellers to rest before progressing further on their journey. Upon arriving at the shrine, you'll be greeted with a bonfire right in front of you. This is your opportunity to get some rest before you begin exploring this area further. This bonfire is tended to by a firekeeper, who is sitting in a crevice just below the bonfire. Her name is Anastasia of Astora, and she is bound to the bonfire to keep it lit. Sadly, you'll not be able to talk to her, as her tongue was cut out due to being impure. Rumors state that she chose her fate because of her own actions. If you come across the soul of another firekeeper on your travels, you will also be able to give it to Anastasia and she will use it to strengthen the Estes flask that was provided to you by Oscar in the Northern Undead Asylum. If you continue down the stairs past where she is sitting, you will see an elevator going down. It is not recommended that travellers use this yet, as it goes down to New Londo Ruins, which is not a good place for inexperienced travellers to get lost in. Another man is also sitting resting at the Firelink Shrine bonfire. He is simply known as the Crestfallen Warrior. He once was a traveller such as yourself, however he got tired of that life and as such he simply sits at Firelink Shrine now. He gives a lot of good advice to travellers though, discussing the fabled Bells of Awakening as well as the other residents of Firelink Shrine. From the bonfire, if you progress behind you and to the left, you will see a big open room with lots of elegant vases. In here stands a cleric named Petrus of Thoralund. He will give you a copper coin if you talk to him, which later on your travels may be able to yield you 1000 souls. He is also a member of the Way of White Covenant, which if you so choose you can join and will receive protection from those who might want to invade your world from them. Chances are, when you arrive Petrus will be waiting for Rhea of Thoralund, the daughter of a very wealthy family who is on a pilgrimage to acquire the Rite of Kindling. Petrus is one of her bodyguards alongside Vince and Nico who are set to arrive alongside Rhea later. We will speak more about these people when it's likely that you will encounter them. Petrus can also act as a merchant if you want to learn miracles which are a type of incantation that's performed by clerics. He sells heal, great heal excerpt, homeward, force as well as seek guidance. In addition to these five miracles, he also sells the Thoralund Talisman as well as a regular talisman. There are also a variety of things that you are able to collect from around Firelink Shrine. When you initially arrive, you will notice a well behind you with a corpse leaning on it. This corpse has three humanity on it, which are a very useful currency for kindling bonfires as well as summoning other people into your world. Going down a long and easy to miss side path, you will also find six firebombs, which can work quite well against certain specific types of enemies which you might encounter later, but they still can be decently useful now. Going up the stairs past Petrus and up another set of stairs that leads to some uneven footing, there is a soul of a lost undead, and then going back down that staircase, you will see two lift shafts on your right hand side. These are not in use yet, however, dropping down the shaft, you will find a secret exit which takes you to four chests. One of these houses six homeward bones, which will turn you to the last bonfire you rested at, similar to the homeward miracle we just encountered. 
Another houses the Morning Star, which is a strength-based hammer with spikes on the end of it, as well as a talisman, which is one of the items that Petrus could sell you. The third chest houses four cracked red eye orbs, which allow you to invade other people's worlds if you're feeling particularly evil today. And the final chest has four Lloyd talismans, which stop travelers or enemies from using Estus flasks in a certain radius, and is also particularly helpful against a certain enemy which you'll we'll be encountering later on in our travels. Dropping down from here will pitch you against several skeletons, as you're now in the graveyard of Firelink Shrine. There are stairs just in front of you, which will lead you back to the main safe area, which is what we would recommend you do. However, there are several items down here which may also interest you, if you feel confident enough to take on the skeletons. Here we have multiple soul items, the binoculars, which you may already have as a tourist anyway, the caduceus round shield, which is a weak wooden shield, the Zweihander, which is a pretty good strength-based ultra great sword, as well as the winged spear, which is also very powerful, and is a dexterity-based spear. A warning to travelers though, if you go up the stairs past Petra's and see that the lift is already there, it's possible to accidentally fall off of the lift, at which point you'll be on the roof of Firelink Shrine. For some strange reason though, there's a key to a door from the Northern Undead Asylum, which has strangely ended up on this roof though, which is quite unusual. If you end up here, you might be able to access the upper half of some broken stairs though, which may allow you to access the nest of the crow, which originally dropped you off here in Lordran. Assuming you don't somehow end up on the roof, you can now continue forwards where you'll encounter some more simple hollow soldiers, and one of them is armed with fire bombs. These enemies are best taken out by utilizing the parry technique, which I mentioned in the first guide. However, these are still easy to defeat with simple attacks as well. There are multiple soul items around here, as well as another item which is located on a ledge which you need to jump to get to. Now, based on what I've seen, most travelers are not very good at jumping and seem to have issues jumping across even the smallest of gaps. So you might want to strip down so you're as light as possible when performing a jump that's required on your travels. The item here is a ring of sacrifice, which allows you to keep any souls you've acquired if you die. Not that you're going to die them. I'm sure that won't happen. Anyway, that's everything that you can do in Firelink Shrine on your initial visit. However, I'll be discussing some of the other kind-hearted individuals that might end up at Firelink Shrine when it's most likely that you'll first encounter them on your travels. So then, next stop, Undeadburg. <laughs>